So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number 23. Today is October the 27th, 2022. Welcome everyone that is on uh, online and also welcome for people that are listening to this on the replay. So I'm just going to share screen very briefly because I, as, as with other times, I actually do have a um, kind of an agenda, not a big agenda, but um, so we are in the welcoming session and then we're going to do a presence meditation. And then I'm just going to briefly talk about what really is the fifth dimension experience and then talking about um, what is limiting us to, to play fully and integrate fifth dimension experience right now. So, and, and the, the spoiler alert is, it's really about um, the letting go of the, the false matrix. So we are all in this transition. And I think most of us, I wouldn't say all, I'm quite sure there, there are people out there that has already done pretty much most of the integration. And uh, so, however, um, I would say majority of us are, myself including, uh, we are just in the, the, the transition period so we are in various stages of integrating this uh, or letting go of the the um, false matrix and and integrating into the fifth dimension and the organic matrix of this planet so um, I'm going to open up the floor first for any questions comments If not, then let's actually just do a presence meditation first so that we can all um, just come together and let go of everything that has been taking our attention away during the day because <laughs> it, 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 is, it can be quite intense in this transition. So let's just take a deep breath in and let it all go. Take another deep breath in. And as you breathe in, just imagine that you are calling in all part of yourself, all of your energies, all of your attention, call all of that back, back to you, back to your body, back to your heart, back to you right here, right now. And as you let go, as you breathe out, just let go of any tension or anything that does not support you in this moment. And then just breathe in very deeply once more. And again, call back all parts of yourself, back to you. Bring back all of your attention to right here, right now. Until you really have this feeling that you are more present, that you are feeling more solid, and grounded within yourself. And as you breathe out, just let go of everything that does not support you in this moment. And relax your body. You don't need more, atten more tension, more anxiety. Just breathe it all out. And just continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And just give yourself a few more deep breaths, breathing in and out, just to make sure that 
you are very present. And when you truly feel that you are connected with all of you, and set the intention that you also want to be connected with the highest vibration version of yourself that is beyond space time, beyond this dimension, the highest vibration version of yourself that you have access to in this moment. Just be connected with that version of yourself. And ask for that version of yourself to work with you, to facilitate you to become conscious of what it is that you need to learn, to know, to remember in this moment and throughout this play shop. When you get the feeling that even though your senses, all of your senses know that there are things happening outside of you, but you're not interested because right now you're only interested in here and now. And when you have that, then just come back to here, to now. And open your eyes if you have it closed and just come all the way back. And welcome back, everybody. Welcome, welcome back. And I am actually just, oh, okay, maybe not so small. I'm actually just going to, so the first thing I want to um, talk about is really to very briefly recap what is the fifth dimension experience. So we talked about it last week and the fifth dimension experience is really um, to be in a state of neutrality. It doesn't mean that we have no emotions and, and no feelings, it doesn't mean that we can still have emotions. It's just that our emotions does not overpower us. We can choose to feel an emotion and then just as easily let it go. So there is no attaching to emotions um, no attachment to people, places, or things. It's just we feel a lot more neutral. Or, or the other way is we feel free to choose whatever it is that we actually want to experience. So, um, so we're not overwhelmed by what's happening. And we may still have some aches and pains, but there's nothing that is persistent. Um, aches and pains is simply our body telling us you, we need to pay attention to certain things in our body. And once we are aware of the aches and pains and what it is that we need to do in order to shift our body, then the body heals itself. So we may still have a bit of pain, but there is nothing that is persistent. We will still experience pain, those things, but it's all just to give us feedback. And fifth dimension is really a blank canvas so that we can choose, freely choose to create what it is that we want to experience. And in other words, Fifth dimension is really heaven on earth. And everything that you think of heaven, the 
best of everything. Um, yeah, that is what fifth dimension is because whatever it is that we want to create, we may not have everything that we need to create it in this moment. However, once we set our mind to it, then the the like the universe, the playground, the people around us would support us to make things happen. And so that's the fifth dimension is where it's a playground where we get to learn the next level of the fact that we are creators because um, in the past, in, in third dimension, creating is not as flowing and easy. Whereas in the fifth dimension, it's a lot more flowing and easy. And so that's why it is really heaven on earth. So that's in a nutshell, bless you. <laughs> that in a nutshell is really what the fifth dimension experience is supposed to be. And yeah, we're not there yet. <laughs> so no surprise there. And so the next thing I want to talk about is, so what is limiting us right now? What is, how come we're not there? Because as far as um, earth itself, earth itself is um, really the, the playground itself is all ready for us, but we are not. We are not because we, we just, um, we are still in between the, the, the old matrix. So the old matrix, it's not even the, I, I'm not trying to call it the, the third dimension matrix. It's not even the 3D matrix because it is actually a negative 3D matrix. It's actually lower than third dimension. What we've been playing with, um, I would say a couple of years ago, it was, yeah, it was really very dense. Life is so hard. However, we are coming into this, um, we're shifting into the, the 5D. So what is limiting us is first thing, um, in, in order to create the, this really dense and negative experience that we had before there are so many implants um implants that uh, has the implants there are curses it can be veils and um so what are the difference between um i don't know what the technical difference are but my understanding of it is that implants are um things that other people or blocks, blockers that other people put into you, whereas veils are really more things that you put on yourself. So it's sometimes it could be someone else. Sometimes it could be ourselves blocking ourselves for whatever reasons. And curses are really... Um, They're not implants. They are just um, a very e negative emotion that is being directed at you for whatever reasons. Maybe because you did something to someone else, so they would curse you. Or something happened to you, you that you really um, cannot live with. You, you, you resent it so much that you either take on a curse for yourself so that you would never have to experience that again, or you curse somebody else. So, so implants, that's how I um, differentiate between implants, veils, and curses. So those, we, we have those. So those are some of the things that actually um, made it tough for us. And I actually just want to share the screen again. 
just to show. Um, so before I go on to talk about root chakra, I actually want to do something about implants, veils, and curse. I want to talk a little bit about it because um, I actually want to talk about how to remove them because as we are going through integrating this, we, I, I want you all to be able to remove these for yourself. Because um, I remember as I, I remember a couple of weeks ago or um, no, actually uh, maybe a month or two ago um, during the workshop, like Sifu James actually was talking to one of the, the participants, I won't name names, but um, he kind of discovered that uh, one of the participants, even though that participant has done a lot of clearing on herself, but actually he discovered that like somebody put a curse on that participant. And so, um, and because of that, it actually, that curse kind of blocked the, the central meridian where, so it kind of um, um, dimmed down the, or, or, or slowed down the ability for that person to communicate with their higher self. So these are things, so, so curse is really a, an emotional blockage where either ourselves or someone else put on us. And these things can happen because we have lived very colorful lives, shall we say, in the past and, and also in the old um, paradigm. We learn through suffering. And we, so we, and, and there's a, so much disconnection that um, we are so mean to one another. That's, we're so bad to one another. The, 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 the hurt, the, um, and the, all of those really torture that we put on other people because we're disconnected from them. We don't recognize that they are actually, anyone else outside of us is also a part of us. We are completely cut off from that connection, that realization that we do things that are so um, unthinkable to one another because as far as we are concerned, they are out to get us. It's really a matter of, you know, my life or their life. So that's how we, we, we used to think. And we, um, we do the meanest thing to one another in order to, to really um, secure our own survival. So all this, all this is all that's why there's so many, uh, that's why we put veils on ourselves because we could have been really powerful, but because we, our consciousness is so low that if we have that power, we would misuse it so much. That's why we put on blockers and, um, and, and veils on ourselves just so that we won't do something that is so, um, that we cannot undo. So that's why all of these things we put on ourselves. Now that we are in this new playground, the playground is completely different. We are, so one of the really good um, things to learn is really how to remove our own veils, how to remove blocks, and um, implants or curse. So I just want to talk and go back to talk about how I would suggest you to do. Um, there are many ways to to get uh, to let go of implants, to really clear implants or veils or curse. This um, is the best way that I know of, and it does not mean that that's the the only way or even the best way out there. It's just the best way that I know of. So I'm going to share and, and uh, all of you with just um, maybe 
take it into consideration and see if this resonates with you. And if it does, then please use it or change it to however it is that suits you. <clears throat> so what the first thing that I suggest is just decide on what it is that you want to clear, whether it is implants, whether it's veils or a or curse. So just um, don't try to do all of them together. Just at, at least at first, just do one. Just do either implants or veils or curse. Just pick one and then work with it first. So the first thing is... Can I ask you a question? Yes, sure. How do, how do I know what should I remove? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> so chances are, so chances are we would have implants and veils because definitely I know we would have veils because veils is really um, just to slow us down. So implants and veils, and you may you may ask, you know, why do we want to slow ourselves down? Um, we did. <laughs> we actually are afraid of our own power. We are, because we, um, I, I remember that we have uh, talked about the, what happened in Atlantis. So Atlantis, we actually got to a level of consciousness that is, about right, just about where our consciousness is right now. However, um, it was not meant to be. And so things happened and we, and we did um, really terrible things uh, or we, we unconscionably and unconscious and not knowing the full ramification of our actions, we actually, um, opened up a can of worms so that's why we have put veils on ourselves and and implants on ourselves in order to make sure that we actually uh, when we get to the point where our consciousness can match our power then we can start to remove it and i think we are coming to that so so to answer your question is why? Um, so I know that we definitely have implants. We definitely have um, veils. Curse, we may or may not have. It, it really depends. Um, how do you know is you would... It's an emotion. It's an emotion. It's something that you can ask yourself. There is, so the, um, what I know of curse is that you will feel that there is an emotion that is, that you cannot get past. Um, it's an emotional block and there's so much being tied up that, so when you, especially if you meet that, the person that created that curse or uh, yeah um, especially when you uh, meet the other party of the that that created that curse or that is uh, surrounding the events uh, that made the curse happen so then you actually feel very emotional it's it it's something that is overpowering you so you will know that so that is what I know about curse is there is an emotional um, component to it. And uh, so th does that answer your question? Mm. Yes, thank you. So okay. uh, I should do either implants or veils, right? Yes. Implant, implants or veils, those are, those I'm pretty sure that we, we have. Thank you, veils, thank you. Definitely. 
um, curse we may or may not have. If you, if there's a curse, then like if something that is, that you work on like for a long time and you just cannot get through to it and you feel that there is this uncontrollable emotional pattern to it, then there's a good likelihood that there is a curse. And then you, you, what you can do is just do the, the, the use this, this method to do the curse removal and see if that shift anything for you. So if you feel a shift, then that's a confirmation that there has been a curse. Could you repeat again what implants are? Because I kind of missed that. Like I'm not clear what that is. Sorry about that. Implants is really a block. So for me, implants is someone else um, is putting a, a block on you. It could be, um, it could be your own guides. Maybe put a block on you because you may be a wild one. <laughs> you guys just want to make sure that you don't um, do things that they cannot um, undo for you or that you may really regret later on. So, so that's, uh, whereas the veils are something that you put on yourself. Not you, not the conscious you, but usually it's so you maybe from another another lifetime, a not a different consciousness that put that veils on you. So that's implants is from outside of you, another spirit, um, completely another entity. Whereas veils is self-imposed. So that's how I differentiate the two. Any other questions or before I move on? Not really. Okay. So now the the, the method of doing this is uh, first is really to um, get energy because you need a higher level of energy and also a higher quality of energy in order to remove these things. So that's why I would the the method I suggest is to breathe in pure, pure love of the creator source. So I just want to uh, explain what pure, pure love is. So pure love is a, um, a frequency of love from source that is, there's no discrimination, no um, really unconditional, beyond unconditional. Whereas pure, pure love is kind of a subset of that because in pure love, it can be, um, there can be positive and negative components to it. Because in the creator's eyes, there is nothing that is negative, nothing that is positive. Energy is simply energy is just appropriate. Whatever is appropriate is, is included. Whereas pure, pure love is just the, the supportive ones. So I specify pure, pure love is that I, I want to increase your level of positive energy within yourself. Okay, so breathe in the pure, pure love of the creator source. Do this for, I would say, at least five minutes, 10 minutes, if you feel that you're not very um, energetic, like if, if you don't feel that you have a lot of energy, then, then do 10 minutes or even 15 minutes until you really feel that you are peaceful and full of energy and just ready to... I'm doing the next step. So between five to 15 minutes, depending on where you're at in that moment. So breathe in the pure, pure love and then connect with the highest vibration version of your spirit as the facilitator. So the highest vibration version of you is really HVS is what I, it's the short form for it. So the highest vibration version of you 
I suggest that because um, you want you. You're not trying to rely on outside. And even if you're calling on outside um, help, you want it to be facilitated by the highest vibration version of your spirit who knows you, like who knows all of you, 100% of you. So that's the, the one that you want to connect with as the facilitator. And through your, that facilitator, through that highest version of you, call in any other spirit helpers and energies that is most appropriate to do this, this process. So use your highest vibration version of your spirit to guide you through this. And then, um, and also with the frame, with the understanding that you don't want to do too much because um, when you are getting rid of implants or veils or releasing curses, your body has to adjust to these um, energies. So depending on how powerful or how many of these you may have, your body has to work a lot. So you don't want to do too much. So that's why I want to call in the, the your, your highest vibration version of your spirit to facilitate and also to take into consideration of how much your body can handle. Some people uh, have stronger body or they may have worked on their body um, more than their body can take more, whereas some bodies are just naturally less um, robust so you make so make sure that you don't do you don't try to do too much that is beyond what your body can handle because there is such a thing as a healing crisis even that so there is such a thing as too much of a good thing that's what I'm trying to say because your body is has to has to integrate all of that so that integration really takes a lot of energy so you don't want to overload your body all at once so once you have all of this and also um, really set the frame that you want to do only what your body can handle then all you have to do is just give the command just say remove all the implants let's say that is appropriate for me to do right now and that is that my body can handle safely in this moment. So that's all you need to do. Okay, so any question about that process? That's pretty hard to know. Can we handle it or not? So I would you say you would guide you us. You don't have to know. You don't have to know because your higher self knows. So that's why the, I, I said to ask the, the highest vibration version of you to be the facilitator. That is the safeguard. Does that answer your question? I still rely on you that you can guide us to the point that we can take it or not. Um, so, um, Rely on the highest vibration version of yourself. I, because even well, what I do, what I do is I go through your highest vibration version of you as well. Because I don't try to say, okay, according to me, because um, what I can handle is very different from what you can handle. So like when I do it for you, so I'm going to take you all through a process. So when we do it, I also make sure that I go through your highest version as well. I don't try to say, okay, I know all. So I'm going to just do it. I, I don't try to do that because I don't know. Other questions? When we, um, when we call pure love, we have to stand up. Make sure that your feet are on the floor. Make sure that you 
yeah so make sure that you have your feet is on the floor um if you're seated if you feel like it's best to stand up do that so just make sure that you even if you're sitting down make sure your feet are on the floor um i have to call highest vibration version of myself at the beginning right before i call pure love i would i would call in pure love first just mm -hmm. okay. when you call in pure love you are just energizing yourself and okay. you are starting to um, raise your own frequency and then after you really feel that you are um like that you have enough juice that you then you connect with the highest vibration version of you that you have access to and because you are already in um in a higher um energetic state so the you may be able to connect with a the high, a higher version of yourself because um what you connect, what you can connect to depends on where you are at. So that's why I suggest is to make sure that you are at a higher level of energy first before you connect with the, the highest version, vibration version of yourself. Thank you. Any other questions? comments okay so let's let's give this a try let's just do this so i'm going to do implants um because i knew know that uh, we we have a we have some implants i wouldn't say a lot but we do have some implants which is to um make to keep us in the 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 negative matrix. So let's try to clear those. And so 